Hey guys, so today I just figured out how to diagnose a car when it has a bad ignition coil and it begins to misfire and the engine begins to shake uh, very noticeably and you begin to lose power as you're trying to accelerate, especially on the highway. So I got a scanner, I plugged it into the car and it gave me a code telling me that it was misfiring on cylinder number one when in reality it was an actually another cylinder. And the way that I verified that is by visually uh, doing a diagnosis with one of these, which is actually a spark plug tester. You connect the tester on one end like this. This end goes into the spark plug into the car. And this is the ignition coil that goes into the spark plug. So you connect it like this to complete the circuit. So you plug this into the car's spark plug on one end and on this end you plug it into the wire that goes to the control module in the car and then you turn the car on being careful not to touch it because it will shock you and if you see a spark through here depending on how bright it is I figured uh, on average pretty bright but if they look very dim then you got a bad ignition coil and you must replace it and for me it worked personally and I recommend it for all of you so I'll be showing you guys in this tutorial video right now to give you guys some insight into how bright it should look. Okay. Okay guys, so here's a spark plug tester that I was telling you guys about. This end from the terminal of the, of the tester goes into the spark plug like so. Push it in firmly, not necessarily until it clicks but until it's noticeably doesn't go in any further until it stops. And I'm going to put a working coil which actually goes into the spark plug but in this case I'm going to bypass it by putting it through the spark plug tester it has a little bulb in there that lights up depending on how bright it emits it will tell you the condition of the coil if it's working properly if it's very dim it's not working if it's very bright then the coil is working so then I'll plug it in to the spark plug wire to the ignition coil that goes to the control module and then I'd simply do is just start up the car and this should uh, be working fine if it's bright. So I'm going to turn off the light now to give you guys a better uh, chance of seeing the, the, the light as it lights up. So here I go, I'm going to start the car up right now. And that's about how bright you want it to look. And any dimmer, then you have a back coil, and the car should purr, it shouldn't shake a lot. Now, I'm going to put on a coil that is actually faulty to give you guys a comparison. So, I'm going to shut the car off right now before I remove any of the car coil. And I will turn the light back on to give you guys. There we go, a better uh, picture quality. <laughs> All right, so I'll take the spark plug wire off of the coil, being careful not to rip it off, and then the coil that actually works. And I'll leave it plugged in like that. And this is the faulty coil that I have. I just bought it brand new. I'm gonna go and get it replaced. So I'll plug it in like so and once again I will shut the light off to give you guys a visual of the spark plug uh, tester well, here we go again starting the car and as you can see you can barely see the arc from the spark plug tester not really lighting up that tells me right there that that coil is bad and not the spark plug wire or the spark plug inside the engine. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully this helps you guys out if you ever need to diagnose the car. Bye.